Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? that time again and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna open up a rack that um is pretty similar to the one we worked on in the last episode i actually worked this up separately uh got a little bit different of a sequencer pattern going inside of the rack and now what we're gonna do is just mess around with some new blocks, potentially. Um, so what we have going on is a oscillator and a mini oscillator, each with a filter and mini filter. And I have four sequencers chained together. Pitch merged, gate merged, and everything set up. So pretty cool, and um, I want to just start looking at some of the other toy box stuff. So we're going to actually take a look at the Floor Shakers Pack collection. Ah, yes. And uh, we have a few new oscillators in here to check out. Um, there's a router, I'm not sure what that does. A couple of filters, a very nice reverb. I mean, super nice. Uh, Multi-brand compression, chorus, feedback delay, multi-band distortion. I mean, all really, really, really awesome stuff. So let's check out a wavetable basic. going to make the connections we got to make and see what this homeboy sounds like. I'm actually going to patch in a second VCA here. So it's just going to be its own thing. And uh, if I remember right, we got to modulate these guys. some input 
maybe. This is an audio cable too, we'll go ahead and color that purple. We remember our guide. Audio is purple. And uh, I think that might be it. Let's see what we got on channel. Channel 3. It would be really cool to have <clears throat> something that randomly messes with the, oh, the select or the scan. Okay, so what I can gather is that this is a wavetable. This selects the wavetable and this scans through the various wavetables, allowing for kind of like a blend of, say, two different wavetables. When it's scanning from one to the other, you kind of get a glide from one to the other, not just a hard change. So a hard change, you use the select. This is just by itself. There's no filter. I mean, there's nothing yet. And I think that's damn cool. Just. distortion. What do you think? <clears throat> Let's see what a multiband distortion sounds like. We stopped it. We killed it. Still rolling, but um, let's see. Let's go back. Yeah, we're getting close, guys. Getting close to the end. Getting close to the limit. Yep. Pretty close. Pretty close. <clears throat> So, um, what we can do is kind of try this out maybe on a different episode. Um, what'll be really nice one of these days is when I get a, another computer unit, um, we won't have this problem. Ladies and gentlemen. We just turn reactor back on. Just add some color to this thing, some saturation, using just the filter. Looks like this has a distortion circuit built right in. Very nice. 
through this sequence and then cycles through basically a similar or the same sequence uh, another two times and so this one is the one that's set to play and then it just triggers in loop in loop fashion and this wavetable is just badass sound.
Brazil.